Okay, so here is what you see once you walk in the door. I got a studio apartment. It's a 24 square meter studio and like I said, I don't have that much furniture yet. So it's kind of an empty apartment tour but like it's in the middle because I stayed here during my vacation in the Philippines. So I wanted it to be a little bit livable but still um, not go overboard because I'm flying back to the States anyway. So yeah, anyway, here is what you see once you walk in. You see the rug. And this is the bathroom door. So the bathroom is pretty standard. I'm gonna turn on the light and you're gonna hear the um, vent because the vent is attached to the light now. The toilet came with the apartment and then I had to install like a big day. And then the sink area, this is what the sink area looks like now. It used to be just the sink and then I had this cabinet installed. It's kind of floating so you can easily clean like the floor and not have any problems. That was, that's just where I store all my toiletries and stuff like that. So yeah, um, it doesn't bang as well. I just had that installed and then my boyfriend helped me out with that. So thank you. But anyway, I just have some hand soap, my toothbrush and whatnot. I plan to put like a little dish right here or like a cake stand so I can put all my um, perfume, stuff like that. Or actually, hindi pala pwede perfume sa banyo. But mga toiletries, mga deodorant, anything that I use, facial wash. Tapos, I'm gonna have a mirror installed then up here. Para sa vanity. And then have lights installed up, way up there. And then on this side naman is the toilet. The, like I said, the toilet came in with the apartment. I got a standard apartment. So it's standard furnished. You have like the tiles, some bathroom fi fixtures. Pero wala pa yung mga closet and stuff like that. And then I just got a squatty potty from True Value. That's I think 1,500 pesos. It really helps make your bowel movement smoother or something like that. And then I had a bidet installed, of course. And then these shelves were also installed. And we're gonna put like towels there, anything na needed like bathroom linen and stuff like that or kaya decor naman. These little pink jars, I just put it there para meron namang onting color kasi puro white yung bathroom ko right now. So I got these jars from Robinson's department store. The small one is like 350 pesos and then the bigger ones are 450 pesos. And then up top, I have like a transparent jar that I'm, I plan to put like cotton, cotton buds, mga anything that I use in the bathroom. And then that little basket is from H&M Home. It was on sale for 500 pesos, originally 1,199 pesos. So I plan to put like extra bathroom linen then dyan. Anything that I need to store away, pero at least medyo home decor look pa rin siya because of the basket. And then the towel rack came in with the unit na din. And then I just have my towels there. Tapos, I'm actually flying out tomorrow. So I already packed all my toiletries para ready na for my flight tomorrow. And then when you close the door, so this little toilet paper holder used to be on this side. Tapos when we installed this cabinet, nilipat na lang para dyan yung bidet, tapos toilet paper sa kabila. And then I have this trash can. I got it from True Value then. Um, it's from the brand Joseph Joseph. So what I like about this is because meron siyang naka-separate shots. You can put like wet stuff here and then dry stuff on the other side. Tapos, ano din siya? Kasi originally I wanted the trash can that you step on tapos it opens para may cover. But then my sister made a good point that what if you were sit sitting on the toilet? Parang ang hassle nga naman. So yan na lang yung pinili ko. Tapos, medyo enclosed pa rin siya pero at least madali magtapon and then on this side naman behind the door we have the shower i plan to put like a glass door for the shower right now i just have a shower curtain that's transparent temporarily kasi wala pang time na gawin yung glass door and of course iniisa-isa ko nga yung paggawa dito sa condo because medyo mahal siya my bath mat is also from target ayan flamingo lang na design tapos the shower head which is over the head na na shower. It came with the apartment na. So, pag studio, ay, pag studio, pag standard finish, may shower head na, tas nakatiled na din yung banyo, ganyan. Tas okay naman yung tile sets, large tiles na medyo may kind of marbly look, which was what I was trying to go for. And then we had the heater installed na lang. Tapos, at the back of the door, I just, kasi the door is plastic, so I can't really drill on it. So what I did was, I got like those command hooks, and that's what's on the door. So I have my robe there and my towel that I use. So that's the bathroom. And then you walk out, turn off the light. So right across the door, what I have is 
shoe cabinets. These need to be installed a little bit higher, para may space then para floating siya. I got these from Furniture Source Philippines. These are the IKEA Thrones shoe cabinets. One, this is one shoe cabinet, yan. One, two. So I got two sets. And then it's super easy because it comes in nakaganyan na siya. You don't have to assemble it or anything. And then you can just put your shoes there. I have my slippers, shoes, and stuff. And then here you can put like a catch all para jan mo siya ilalagay after. These I think were 3,200 pesos each. Ayan. It's the perfect size for my small apartment. And then up top, I just have this little. Um, reminders board. I plan to put little plants on these once I live here na. Sabi ng ko mo hampang bagyo, but I kind of like it. It makes it look cozy. The mirrors are supposed to go like on this side. I got three of these. Kaso nabasa yung isa. So, dyan lang muna sila. Hindi ko pa alam. And then I just hang like my house keys here. Any keys that I need. Tapos you can write reminders there. Like I said, put plants. Anyway, so that is the entryway area. I plan to update that then. And then, when you move to your left, I mean your right, this is like the kitchen area. So what I did right now is I marked everything with like tape. Tapos I wrote notes ko ano yung mga built-in stuff na gagawin. So I apologize for the mess. Those are all my kitchen items na naipon ko throughout the year. Na pinadala ko na lang dito sa Philippines. Tapos marami pa. May mga pants pa sa cabinet. So if standard unit yung kukuha ninyo, standard furnish, Yan lang yung countertop. You have the sink right here. And then may countertop lang siya. Tapos may exhaust provision sa taas. Everything else you need to build on your own. So yun yung gagawin ko na next. Um, and then I have like a provision here for my refrigerator. Tapos I got this. Ito yung sinasabi kong isang trash can. You step on it. And then magka-close siya. Slowly. Hindi siya magbabang. Which is what I like about that. Medyo expensive yung trash can na to. For a trash can na, parang 4,800 pesos siya. It's also from True Value. It's from the brand Brabantia. Pero maganda siya kasi nga, hindi nagbabang. Tapos, maganda rin siya tingnan. Parang sleek, sleek lang siya. Perfect siya for mga small spaces like this. So like I said, I plan to put like the refrigerator there. I plan yung maliit lang na refrigerator. Kasi... Or mag-isa lang naman ako dito titara if ever. And then on top of that, may maglalagay lang ako ng shelves for my microwave oven, ganyan, tapos pantry sa taas. And then when you move to your left, right now I have my luggages here, pero empty space lang yan. Iniisip ko pa kung ikakabit ko yung counter dyan, tapos dyan yung induction stove. Because here, I plan to put like a mini bar. Tapos ito na yung stools ko. The stools I got from... Um, welcome Depot and they're I think 2,000 pesos each. Tapos originally may baby pink yan which is what I was trying to go go for. Kaso out of stock na siya when I decided to buy it. So light green na lang. Um, at least neutral naman siya. Pwede siya sa lahat. Tapos I plan, like I said, I plan nga yung bar nandyan lang sa taas. Tapos right next to the bar, what I plan is, sorry, and just my luggage ko kasi I'm packing. Um, the TV entertainment area. So yung bar, not bar, yung provision na yan is for the TV console or yung parang media center. So, since maliit nga yung apartment ko, I try to put, um, I try to install as much storage as I can, wherever I can. So, andyan din yung um, sockets for the TV, tapos ipapamount ko na lang yung TV dyan. Tapos sa taas, mag install din lang parang shelves. Tapos to its left, may provision na din ako for the closet. Um, sliding door closet lang siya na dalawahan. Kasi I plan din na hindi naman ako masyadong, hindi ako magkikit ng madaming clothing items. Tapos, iwi gagawin ko na lang from floor, from floor to ceiling siya para madaming malalagay. And feeling ko kasi kung mag-isa lang naman ako, hindi ko kailangan madaming closet. And I plan to minimize my clothing as much as I can. Tapos sa side na to, kasi may wall. So I was like, gusto ko pa rin magamit yung space. So dyan ko na lang ilalagay yung vanity ko. So maliit na floating shelf lang siya. Tapos parang maglalagay lang ako ng mirror. Tapos may lights. Tapos may mga little shelves na lang din for my makeup. Kasi nagda-downsize na din ako ng makeup. Nagsa-start na ako. Kasi yung mga binibili ko na lang mga pang-natural makeup looks. Hindi na ako masyadong madami bumili. Actually, madami akong binili din during this trip because gusto ko nga mag-venture into local products. But anyway... That is another story. Right here, that is actually a pillow that I bought from Gordos. Kasi nag-sale sila. Buy two, take two. 2,800 pesos for four hotel pillows. Tapos sobrang light and fluffy niya. And then up top, I have my air conditioner inverter to. Pero 
What's interesting is, bawal kasi split type sa condo, kailangan window type lang. And for inverter na aircon, mas mahal yung window type. I got this one from Anson's. Tapos, available naman siya for installment if nagtitipid ka. Pero I think I got this na straight on kasi mas mura siya pag straight mo siya binili. Parang 30,000 pesos or 27,000 pesos yata to. 1.5 horsepower and it's enough to make the entire unit cool. At least, naka-close yung door ng banyo. 24 square meters, 1.5 horsepower. Enough na yun, promise. And then, here, I have the window. Close natin. Ito na lang yung pina-install ko na blinds. Kasi, blinds ba tawag dito? Kasi, mas better din siya. Wait. Okay, ang hirap. Ayan. Mas better siya in the sense na kung gusto mo ng medyo may light, you can, what you can do is wait, yun yung dark eh. What you can do is pull it, tapos may little sliver siya ng little panel siya to let the light go in. Tapos kung gusto mo naman ng dark, you just pull it, tapos, ayan, dark na siya, ba? So, yun yung gusto ko sa kanya. Tsaka, hindi siya bulky kasi nga maliit yung space ko. Anyway, this is my bed. It's also from Furniture Source Philippines. I think this is a double tufted bed with extra storage underneath. Right now, nalinis ko na yan. Dati nandiyan yung clothes ko. So, mga things na iiwan ko na lang. Diyan ko nilagay. Spacious siya. And sobrang gusto ko. My bedding is from the States. Temporary lang to. Bumili lang ako ng down alternative comforter. If you watch my home hauls from before, makikita niyo yan. Tapos, ito yung binili kong pillow from Gordos. Ayan. Sobrang nice naman siya. Tapos mura lang. Else do I have to say, sobrang dream ko talaga ever since I was like in college. Yung ganyang parang princess type na tufted na bed. Now, I have it. Tapos I plan to put like an artwork siguro up top when I move na here. So yun lang. And then to the side, what we'll have here is a little parang floating siguro na side table. Tapos a little hanging lamp para meron akong side table lamp. And then I got this ottoman as for temporary lang ngayon. I got that from Robinson's department store then. Tapos maganda diyan, storage yung ilalim niya. Tapos pwede mo din siyang upuan. It's sturdy enough. I think that was around 3,000 pesos. So yan, side table yung lalagay ko diyan. Tapos itong rug which is dapat nandito sa side na to, hindi sa may bed ko. But anyway, so yan. Tapos to to its right, I'll put like a two-seater couch na nagiging sofa bed. Tapos yun yung artwork na malalagay ko up top ng two-seater couch. I planned it to be like a gray two-seater couch para it will match this stool. Tapos yung little pillows na lang will be like white or pink para magmatch dun sa artwork. Kasi yung gusto ko ang look sa condo is a little bit more on the tropical bohemian side. Tapos, like I said, two-seater na sofa bed para if ever mag-sleep over yung mom ko, ganyan, meron siyang hihigaan. Or pwede naman siya sa tabi ko. Tapos, I got this rug lang from Manila Furniture by Incense, something like that, a Facebook group. Second hand siya, 1,300 pesos lang, pero maganda pa yung quality niya. Tapos, sobrang nagustuhan ko siya, so I decided to pick it up. And, ayan, yun yung magiging center rug between the, not the living room, but between the couch and the TV on this side. So, oh, before I forget, those artworks, like I said, from Robinson's department store, I think it was 800 pesos each. Let's see. Ayan, 799 pesos. Wait, I'm going to focus it. But yeah, 799 pesos lang siya, which I think is already good enough para sa look na nabibigay niya. So, perfect na yan sa taas ng couch. And then, on this side, I have my fan. My electric fan is also from Anson's. It's from the brand Asahi. Kasi, yung mga tower fan pala, pang cooling lang siya whenever you have, like, the air conditioner on. Eh, sometimes naman ayaw ko mag-air conditioner kasi later ma mahal yung kuryente. So, I decided to get this fan. Medyo sleeker siya. Medyo mas expensive siya than your regular fan. But what I like about it is, kasi nga, mas mukha siyang modern and sleek. Para bagay naman sa apartment. And hindi siya bulky. Parang 3,000 pesos ba to? Or 2,000 pesos? Something like that. So, yeah. That is everything in my apartment right now. So, it's kind of in between an empty apartment tour and like a furnished apartment. Kasi medyo may gamit na siya. But... Yeah, it's small, but I love it, so...